Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna talk about which takes longer to close in New York City, a co-op or a condo. So always, the flat out answer is co-op. Co-ops almost always take longer to close than a condo. So if you're comparing two different people, and in that comparison, the person who's buying the co-op buys it quicker than the person who's buying the condo, it probably doesn't have to do with the boards. It probably has to do with something with that person's financials or maybe the loan that they're getting from the bank, something like that. Or maybe like a title issue that could happen with any property in really anywhere in the United States. So when you're just comparing the co-op to the condo, it's always gonna be the co-op that's longer. And that's because there's just a lot, a lot, a lot of cooks in the kitchen when it comes to co-ops. Okay, so say I was buying a co-op and I was also getting a loan, so I was financing the property. So first I would sign the contract, go through my lender, get that whole process started. But then I would also have to go through the co-op board and they would have to basically allow me to purchase the unit and allow me to purchase the unit for that price that I signed in the contract with the seller. So there's a lot going on there. And that's why some people get really, really, really frustrated with New York City co-op boards and just purchasing in New York City as a whole. So that whole process can be very, very lengthy. The shortest I ever typically see co-ops close is typically three months. Some people say two, not really two, typically three months, shortest. Now, the longest I've also seen was six to seven months was the longest I've seen for a regular sale. So yes, it can be very, very lengthy. And now, so sometimes the co-op board argues that it's not always them that are kind of slowing down the deal. It's sometimes the buyers because there's some miscommunication where they don't know that they need to get some more paperwork into the board or something like that. So that could also be what's slowing down the deals. It could be the actual buyer or a real estate agent. If you don't have a real estate agent, that's on top of it. So short answer is, if I ever give short answers, co-op boards, always longer. You have to expect to take at least a few months to close on that. Even if you're doing cash, it's a cash deal, you would still have to go to the board process. So yes, that is going to speed it up. But at the same time, unless the board speeds up your interview process, even if you're doing a cash deal, that's really the only way you're going to close faster. Now, boards do love cash deals. So if they hear that, that might get them excited. Maybe that will help them speed it up. Other than that, I just want you to be prepared in advance if you are looking to buy a co-op. So honestly, condos can close in two months. However, that honestly doesn't really happen that much either. Typically, the average sale in New York City as a whole is typically taking about three months. And But a condo shouldn't take longer than three months. If so, then that's something that's happening either with that individual buyer, seller, or something that's happening with like title of the actual unit. So New York City is as slow as can be. What else is new? I guess you have to plan in advance, but honestly, it's good for you guys to know these things in advance if you are looking into purchasing one or the other. So if you have any other questions about condos or co-ops or comparing the two of them, just let me know. I'm always here to help you guys.